anybody in this business, um, your passion is, is, is going to always get you the furthest. If you're passionate about what you do, you'll be successful. Be really dedicated, and I mean dedicated 24 hours a day where they, they just live, eat, and sleep drums. You just want to play honest. If you're a great Ringo Starr type, type player, you know, don't try and be Neil Peart. You know, and if you're a Neil Peart player, don't pretend that you're going to be Charlie Watts. You know, do what you do. Robertson, let's check him out. Yeah. All right, what do you guys think? Yeah, I, I, I thought it was pretty cool. You know, he clearly had something going on in his head. Right. Almost like he was playing a song in his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pretty much. Everyone wants to see a drummer spin sticks, throw sticks around, and just be super intense when they're playing. And it's just, it moves people because it's, it's so much energy coming from a drummer. Okay. All right, so well, let's, see, let's see what else we have. Yeah, okay. What is this? This is John McGuire. better phrasing in what he's doing. He's kind of all over the place. Those yeah, time, he's, timing he's is young. You know, yeah. He's young, but he'll get great though. Timing is, is key. Um, being able to have a good sense of timing and a good sense of rhythm is really important. Um, it's amazing how a, a drummer with good timing will, will stand out and will really make a, a song or a record. Um, you don't necessarily see that uh, consciously but subconsciously um, and after you hear something over time and you start realizing that it's the drums that you liked in the song. This is a uh, ukulele bomber. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the ukulele the ukulele bomber. Ukulele, yeah we don't have his full name but that's what he goes by so let's see how he, how he does. He speaks loudly. Yeah. <laughs> he has to work on phrasing. That's what he right. needs to work on. I wish he would have played more groove. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah that's what you look for. The technical yeah. ability is there. He just wasn't sure how to get it out. That that first groove had some promise, but he just yeah, walked let away it go too fast. Yeah, it just walked away too fast. What do we got going on now? You think he's ready for LA? Yeah. He practice is hard. I want a drummer that has great time. I want the groove, and I want it to sound good, and I don't care so much about technical ability. Okay, this okay. is Paul Raposa. Mm. You stay there, you stay there. 
through. Yeah. yeah. Came right out of this pill right here. Yeah. Yeah. You hold the pocket. Yep, makes me feel good. Yeah. Well, very good. Felt good. Great good job. player. It's all got to start with um, great timing. That's first. You have to have a great feel. And that doesn't mean that you have to be perfectly on a click. It just means that you have to be somewhere around that click, but consistent. And our last one is Lou Mars. All right. Good name. He's got an attitude. Sure. That kick is killing me. He's doing a karate kick. Fancy footwork. I like that. He's got a little, <laughs> little thing on. It's probably part of who he is. <laughs> He's got to balance himself. I've never afraid. seen that before. To me, he's not afraid. He's just he's in there and he's playing. He's loving it. It's a show. Yeah. It's kind of an old Gene Krupa kind of thing. Yeah. Tom. There you go. Very yeah, physical. Yeah. Fun to watch. Good show. Because I put a good as I put it. <laughs> Off the gas. Oh. We'll jump on him in there. I feel a big finish coming on. Yeah, Whoa, nice. Wow. Wow. All right, Lou. What a <laughs> workout. Not afraid. He was a workout. He, he brought it. He brought it, he yeah, brought it yeah. definitely. The showmanship, um, I think, is an important part of it. Because just to see guys standing up there on stage playing really great technically proficient stuff it's not a show might be great music but you know showmanship I, I think is a big part of it as well but there are several response feelings the first was oh great I won and then the second feeling was oh no I won um, the next uh, emotion that came over me was oh great I get to go to LA and then the next one was, I have arrived in L.A. and I have to perform probably the, the best I ever had. Oh, I'm Lou. Good. Hi, Lou. Lou. This is my Good wife, Karen. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. Congratulations. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Nice to meet you. I feel you. short down Welcome. here. Let me come up nice to your to level. You, <laughs> nice to meet you, too. Hi, Sonia. How are you? My nice pleasure. pleasure. The part that's kept me calm is that I feel like a, a minor league baseball player getting to play in front of some major league scouts, and they're going to throw some balls at me. I just got to hit them, and I'm going to knock a few out of the park today. What if we did like some kind of like nasty, like kind of... Just a fat something groove. Something funky, groovy. Kind of rock. Like something kind of low down. Uh, what are you thinking? Kind of Zeppelin. That's kind of Zeppelin. It might be cold. Well, got, got, a, got a lick in mind? A little bit of uh, Oh, you could do yeah. just yeah. like a... Yeah.
<laughs> Good job. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I know you guys, your time, very viable. We're, we're, Not we're enough from. energy, Lou. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so what got you back into playing? This contest. Really? Drumming is my ace instrument. The contest, uh, my wife found an article in the paper, in the little corner of the newspaper. And uh, she brought in, says that they're looking for drummers for a contest. I said, well, I'm not putting myself in that. I'm just going to get killed. They're faster, they're younger, they're better. And then I thought about it for two days, and I said, I have nothing to lose. I'm going to go for it. And uh, maybe some people will see me that never saw me play before. Here I am. So it worked out. It's a good day. Because I actually had a chance, and some people got to see me play that never saw me before. And that makes it all good. We were talking about it, and it reminds us a lot of... Uh... You know what, what I felt, uh, um, I was flipping through channels and an old movie of Gene Krupa came on. And, uh, and Gene yeah, really hammered on those double floors down there. I felt he was way ahead of his time. And, and you really could feel it. And I was like, you know, that's, that's to me, is playing. What came across to me and what sold me on is you look like you're having a good time. I love and that, I, yeah. think, I think that to me is entertaining. Well, you yeah, know, yeah. The, the thing that was impressive for me is it was sincere. Yeah. You know, and I've worked with a lot of bands. I'm a drummer. Um, and I work, you're playing, you're having fun. Mm -hmm. um, and and you're, it seems like you're just doing it for all the right reasons. I think we all felt that your performance was, was uh, definitely above uh, the rest. And, uh, and now that we got to meet you and, and hear you talk, I think we're all pretty happy with the decisions that we yeah, made definitely. and the yep. choices Thank that we you. made. And, uh, Absolutely. We Thank think you, you deserve it and you're Absolutely. passionate about it and you got a great attitude, so keep it up. Okay. Thank you. So in the store, you, uh, you sat in, you played the demon kit. That's sort yes. of a different animal than your new kit that you're going to be taking home with you. Um, yeah. How did you feel sound-wise playing, playing the maple kit here? I felt your, good. Your new thing, yeah, I know. so to speak. I, the favorite, my favorite set of the sets, right. you know, is saying, um, it absolutely saying. The the issue, when it becomes your technical abilities, what you're worrying about instead of the drum kit, that's a good day. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't have to worry about playing a certain way to make the set sound well. The set sounded good. And it sounded great when I came around on the right side. And that uh, bass drum, uh, it was like a cannon, I thought. Yeah, it was, it was, it was killing in the control room. You like to feel it in the chest, so. Absolutely. You know, that's where that's where that nice low end comes from. And nice maple shell, nice beautiful lacquer finish. Uh, you know, you want your set to sound good, but let's face it, we all like to look good too. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you can have a great sounding set, but we, we do, we don't talk about it as much. But it's a big part of your personality too. What exactly. The color you have, it represents you. Well, you haven't cool. had a kit since uh, 1981. <laughs> so, uh, yes. on behalf of Dixon Drums, I just want to say congratulations uh, out of 46 entrants. You uh, you get to take home brand new Dixon Outlaw kit, and we appreciate your passion and your Thank drive. You. And, uh, Congratulations. Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. My pleasure. It. And I don't think I could get a better kit, so that's, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Likewise.